The movement claims his comments about curing drug addiction and world peace are copyrighted and they should be removed from the web. But can anything really be deleted once it's entered cyberspace? Let's remind ourselves what Tom Cruise said. Being a Scientologist, when you drive past an accident, it's not like anyone else. Drive past, you know you have to do something about it because you know you're the only one that can really help. We are the authorities on getting people off drugs. We are the authorities on the mind. We are the authorities on improving conditions. Criminon, we can rehabilitate criminals. Way to happiness, we can bring peace. Well, joining us from Central London Studio is media lawyer Mark Stevens from Finer Stevens Innocent. Can you really stop something like this, Mark, once it's got out across the web? I think it's very difficult. I mean, of course, the Scientologists do own the copyright, and they are entitled to uh, go against, um, you know, YouTube and people who've actually been posting this up. But, of course, the problem with that is that although those people will have infringed copyright, uh, as, soon as, you do, as soon as you take that kind of action against something by Tom Cruise, you immediately make a news story. And one of the things about news is that you can report it without infringing copyright. So your use of the material there wasn't an infringement of copyright. And, of course, every news organization that's reputable across the planet, just like Sky, has got this on their website, has got this on their uh, television programs, and as a consequence of that, this is getting a lot more coverage by, because of, just because of the action that's been taken. They really have made a disaster out of a crisis. Now, the Church of Scientology has been pretty litigious, hasn't it, in the past? In fact, the Wikipedia article, we've just looked it up, I've got it online now, lists some of the lawsuits, uh, notable lawsuits against critics of the organization. Uh, one has to wonder, I suppose, is legal action always the best action? I don't think it is, and I think that, you know, particularly in this particular case, uh, it, it, it's, it's created a problem. They wanted to remove uh, Tom Cruise from the Internet because they felt that... Um, putting bits and pieces up of, of the material, it's not the whole video that he, he shot, um, really gives a distorted image. The problem, of course, is that as soon as you do that, you cause attention, you draw yeah. attention to it. And there are many organizations out there that have been the subject of criticism, major international corporations like McDonald's, for example, and they wisely, very often, uh, ignore rather than take legal action. Now, a new book about Tom Cruise also grabbing the headlines, Mark. I'm sure you've heard of it. Andrew Morton, of course, who wrote the controversial biography of Princess Diana, turning his attention to the star. The book's not going to be published in the UK, though. No, Tom that's Cruise. good. That's Human rights and uh, freedom of expression for Scientologists. But um, he's very quick to, to try and stop other people having freedom of expression. And it's, it's a kind of an iro it's ironic, isn't it? Okay, Mark, thank you for being with us.